Hello everyone. Welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your Twin Flame Soulmate reading for March and beyond. This is really is a timeless reading and I tried to record it. I don't know if this is Mercury retrograde or you know I really need some help with my computer clearing it out but it, it, it I went into a lot of what has been heavy on my mind from the collective and things that have been popping up within me. And the things that popped up, just so you're aware, and if you want to reach out to me for a personal reading or healing or talk about these issues, or you comment and say, yeah, do a video about that. But for whatever reason, it wasn't meant to record in the way that it did. But that what's been popping up in the general collective and even some things within me that I didn't realize are abandonment issues, fears around intimacy, old past wounds that are finally it's time to face the hurt to heal it a com final completion of some sort in your lives and worthiness issues am i good enough do i deserve this abundance do i deserve this great love and and your self esteem all of that has plays into it and confidence and feeling confident in yourself confident in your union confident in your intuition okay so these are things are being popped up for a reason so you can really finally clear it and heal it so that you are clean and fresh for this union, for this sacred love. And the card that's, that popped out of this deck, we're going to get a couple more for the union, was serendipity. And of course, it's like, you know, lucky time, prosperous time. You hold the key to unlock this love, you know. And serendipity is opportunity al aligned with readiness and the awareness of synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols. A magical alignment of events. The relationship message is spirit has a plan. And that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. Pay attention to the signs spirit presents. So trust your intuition. Take what's truth for you. And trust the signs. I'm just going to get them energy. So if you find yourself resonating with the feminine energy, being the feminine, I'm going to say she, but it could be a he, but the feminine is going to be over here on this side and the masculine in this relationship is going to be over here. So just take whatever side resonates with you and your person. So the energy around them. the feminine. Oh, is between worlds. Okay. So there might be some kind of pause, like literally leaving one life and moving into a whole new world. Like that's what's happening, feminines. And in this between time, it can be a little frustrating sometimes if we're really focused on like communication, because there may, I'm really feeling a lack of communication. Either there was a pause in communication, like you were communicating with someone and then all of a sudden you're not communicating with them. And I feel like it's, uni like it's the universe doing that. That, that there was some kind of time lapse on leap year. There was some kind of of shifting of energy, shifting of alignments, uh, you know, because it's time for unions and it's time to leave the dark, the shadows, the cloudiness, the indecision, um, all of that behind and move into this, I mean, like a brand new world. This is all about expansion and growth and coming together and celebrating. So when you're in this in between, it's like almost like, you're still in your old life, but you're partway in your new life too. It's like you can see this new life. You can see that this union, you can feel that it's part of your destiny. You literally might be moving. So you like literally thinking about moving or how you can work that out. Oh, another message I'm feeling is like you literally live in different worlds, live in different countries, live in different states different time zones, um, maybe one person's a night person, one person's a day person, like you literally live in different worlds, but it's like perfect because you balance one another. And so it's you finding the balance within yourself and you know you're walking in towards your destiny, like you feel it. You're like, this is my spiritual journey, expanding, growing, my consciousness is really like leading me somewhere. And you can feel it. You can feel the peace, the celebration from leaving the past behind, but you haven't quite taken all the steps yet. It's not quite time. It's like a pause. Like I'm seeing glimpses of this new life. I'm seeing glimpses of what this union could really be or is or has potential to be, right? But I don't, like I'm not, I can't quite, like I've got something that's keeping me like right here, right now. Like just 
kind of maybe there's something to learn from the past. Maybe there's something that still needs to be healed. Maybe it is that you will be living in different places, like you're going to be going back and forth. And that could definitely be for somebody. For the masculine, they're mending. They're mending, um, mending the connection. Mending the connection with their higher self. Uh, learning 52 is a seven. That's learning spiritual lessons. You know, maybe just really focused on um, fixing themselves, mending themselves, letting go of codependencies, addictions, uh, mending old bridges of, of family members, of friends, like really mending the past, healing. Focused. Whatever they're focusing on healing, whatever they're focusing on mending, focusing on their spiritual growth going within, it's part of their healing process. Maybe perhaps they're saying to you, I want to mend the way things were, either in this life or past life. I want mending. I want healing. I, I want to be in the world with you. Because sevens are about making decisions, right? So deciding, being flexible. So let's see with the Santa Morita deck. What's finally being released here? What's the, you know, what's finally mending? What's being released? What's finally mending and being released and letting, let it go of on your side, feminine? And what's been, what's mending and being released and healed on the masculine side? Let's get a little deeper look on that. What is mending? Because there's healing happening for sure. That's why there's a little pause. Feminines, divine feminines. What are the messages here? Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Okay. So the message here, what's mending is your, is your masculine within you. Taking charge, making clear decisions, cutting away what's not serving you, uh, being a leader, leading the way, balancing your emotions, not, be over, not being overly emotional and overly reactive, finding the peace with your head and your heart. So that's, which, that's what's happening, right? Because it's time to decide. That's what You're getting the clarity you need feminines to de decide. That's what's being healed is you're finally going to, you're like, no, I'm, I'm deciding. Like I'm making the decision. I know what my choice is. I'm examining the way that I feel about this union. I'm examining of all the things I've learned in love. I'm really looking close on asking myself, what do I want? What fills my cup? What offer is best for me? And like really focusing on the emotional intelligence. So you're growing in balancing the head and the heart. You see how that's happening? That's part of why you've been in indecision because you weren't balanced. That's what this pause is. Find the balance, feminines, because your ship is coming in. This is your ship coming in. The secrets that are being revealed, information that's coming in by you tapping into the higher part of you and trusting your guidance, like that's your ship coming in. See, this is three wands, everything coming together, two coming together to be one. It's part of your journey. It, it was written in the stars. It's written in the Akashic Records. This is part of it. And your spiritual growth is part of it. So the, the feminines, it's all about balancing the head of the heart and finally making decisions that are best for you, following your spiritual journey. Okay? You're between worlds for a reason so that you can level up spiritually and really heal and release. What about for the masculine? Wow. Okay, we're going to take these that popped up. Okay. The masculine, look at that. The masculines are committed to their spiritual growth, making a commitment, wanting to make a commitment, wanting to mend the past of not making a commitment before because I feel like in the, either in the past in this life or in in a past life they weren't committed they weren't committed to their spirituality they ran from it they're mending that bridge from their human self their 3d self to their spiritual self their 5d self so they're really mending um their spirituality and practicality right now look at that mending finding the balance the masculines are healing and this is a twin flame soulmate recognition card for me personally. So they're recognizing the union and they're finding balance within themselves first. They're trying to find the, the balance of the head and the heart, you know, how they really feel about love. They want to make a commitment, but they want it to be right. They know that it has to be balanced. They know that they have to be healed themselves. They can't be erratic. They can't be too pushy. They can't be, they can't try to control this. They have to just allow it to flow. So I feel like the masculines are working on the flow of their commitments and look they they want to move forward with a solid uh, offer 
Knight of Pentacles. Like they're they're finding the balance, the peace, the stability within them, making a commitment to their spiritual growth, making a commitment to themselves to mend whatever needs mending inside. They realize that you're a trigger. They realize that there's things that pop up and in, in the maybe fears, but they're they really want to share that this fact that they recognize the union. Yeah, look at that. They recognize the union and they want new beginnings. This is a deep spiritual bond. This is an opportunity for creativity, for growth, for flourishing in this life. This is this is the universe offering them this opportunity for new beginnings and they want it. Like they're committing to these new beginnings. They're committing to their spiritual path, like for sure. Because you get the Hierophant. And you get the the Ace of Wands, and then it's but it's very grounded. They're finding their stability in the material world. They have a lot to offer in the material world. They're working on that. They're gathering that, like opportunities, uh, money, their business doing well, job opportunity, you know, promotion, whatever that is. They ha they have a solid offer. Like this is the new beginning. They're like, yep, I'm taking this Ace of Wands with me, grounded and stable. I have my balance. I know that this is sacred union, and I'm I'm going to make my commitment to it. Yeah. There's messages want the coming in. There's going to be communication. Definitely communication telepathic, like in your you know meditations, dreams. You may be dreaming of this person. They may be popping up in your mind a lot, and you're popping up in theirs. And they know what you're feeling and thinking. So if you're in indecision over here, it's time to decide to open yourself up to love feminines. Open yourself up to this, a this ace of wands that the masculine, that your person has to offer you, that's they're bringing it to you. That's your ship coming in. Wow, that is totally your ship coming in. So what's being activated within this union at the time? What's Where's that? What's being activated? Okay, so see, there's the message, healing. So there's healing. So if there's a pause, you're between, they're mending, you're healing. You're getting the epiphany, you're getting the clarity. So there's things being healed in this union. And then there's messages coming in. This is like thinking about what do I want to say? Clearly communicating, writing something down, a letter, a commitment, signing an agreement on a house, making a commitment, like feel commitment, writing down how you feel, manifestations, a gratitude list. It's all part of that. So there's some kind of communication, well thought out communication. It's not like um, flighty communication. It's really, I feel like just really grounded communication, honest Yep. Trusting intuition thing that these are the secrets being revealed. So when you go within and trust your guidance and allow yourself to heal, they're doing the same. So what's being transformed, what's, you know, being activated in the union is clarity, truth, healing, communication. You know, someone in this might be being a little secretive right now because they're they're just really trying to figure it out what they're going to say. Yeah, try, dropping some kind of burdens. Some kind of burdens need to be dropped on one end or the other. That's this mending. That's like while you're between worlds. It's like dropping the burdens. Finally being able to drop the burdens for the new beginnings. That's what I feel like. Yeah, and look at that. Happiness, clarity, peace, joy, abundance. That's what's manifesting. That's what's transforming. That's what's being activated in this sacred divine union is happiness, healing, growth, a way out of the burdens. This is your way. This union, connecting to your person spiritually, trusting your guidance, um, sending them healing, you know, heart space to heart space. That's the key. Trust your intuition on this. But there is communication coming in from the spirit world for sure. But a way, this is like, I feel like it's opportunity to drop the burdens of the past and move into these new, happy, passionate, creative, sensual, sexual, just amazing new beginnings. That's, that's what I feel. But see, here's the epiphany, the tower. Something has to be cleared away within yourself, within them, mended, healed, restored, so that you can have these new beginnings. So that's what's happening. So if things are changing, that's why it's changing. Is because it's time for that. So we're going to clear this up. So within the union, what's manifesting is healing. So believe that. Dropping the burdens, let go. Trust your guidance on this. Happy times ahead. New beginnings. Solid offer. Be open to the serendipitous moments. Inspiration. Signs and sinks. 
And if you're seeing something like signs and synchronicities, numbers, animals, and you're dreaming about something over and over and you want clarity on that, please reach out to me. Let's get the clarity. There's a key in there somewhere for you, just for you. Okay, where is the feminine at in her headspace in regards to this sacred union? Where's the feminine at right now? Or what does spirit want you to look at a little closer? The feminine is resting. Look, good for you, feminine. Four swords, resting, meditating, going within. That's what spirit wants you to do if you're not doing that. During this time, during this pause, just go within. It's all part of the journey for you to trust yourself, for you to trust your intuition. This is all part of it. This is why this is happening. This is why there may be lack of communication or some kind of disconnect or some kind of separation because it's really important that you connect to this person spiritually and that you trust your guidance. That's key to your success moving forward in your life, and it's key to success in this union. And here's the um, page of wands. So this is that new opportunity, thinking about it. Like, what do I want? Like the feminine's thinking about this new passion and opportunity, really. When they're, when they're in contemplation, masculines, they're thinking about this offer, the new opportunity. They're ready to walk the path of the fool. So the feminine is ready to take the leap of faith. The feminine is resting, going within, um, finding that balance of the shadows and light, masculine and feminine, taking, enjoying the pause in between worlds, seeing the beauty in that, you know, that things don't have to happen really fast, but ready to take the leap of faith. This is the fool, ready for that new fresh energy. What about the masculine? Where's the masculine at in this union in the headspace? Ooh, falling all over the place. Okay. High priestess, trusting their intuition, going within. So they too are meditating. Secrets are being revealed when they go within. They're getting the clarity. Um, you know, Akashic records, past life recognition. All of these things are happening for the masculine. It's a very big transformation I'm feeling. Like they're understanding a little bit more about union now. And that it's important that they mend the bridges of the past. It's important that they trust their guidance as well. And, and the masculines really look to the feminine for that. You know, so it's going within secrets being revealed maybe being a little secretive I feel I feel like I felt like someone might be being a little secretive right now about what they want to offer about that's why there's a little pause like they're really figuring it out and then we get the the nine of swords it kind of came into their overcoming the anxiety <laughs> Because the masculines have a little bit of anxiety. Like, do I have what it takes? My God, this feminine is just like the most gorgeous goddess, high priestess, empress that I've ever known. Like, do I have what it takes? Am I good enough? Um, will she accept my love? He or she accept my love? This is like ending this toxicity. Like, that's what they're working on. That's what they're mending, the anxiety, the toxic thoughts, the just living in their head and, and really balancing that out with their heart. So they're mending old wounds and, and anxiety about union, anxiety about intimacy. And they want the two of cups. Like, this is the unconditional love. That's what they're focusing on, to overcome their anxieties, to overcome their fears, their doubts, their insecurities. They are focusing on soulmate love unconditional love loving themselves finding the balance purifying themselves right purifying their thoughts knowing that that sort of devil energy is okay the desires are okay when transformed into the light so there's a big transformation happen of the shadows into the light for the masculine mending the feminine and masculine within themselves finding that peace focusing on this so feminines it's really important that you focus on unconditional love that you focus on loving yourself that you focus on holding your vision what you know to be true and op be open to this love because that's that's what's getting the masculine through this toxic energy your love your healing light so how does the feminine feel in her heart space what's going on with the feminine's heart space Well, perhaps a little protected, the Seven of Swords. Perhaps uh, the feminine is being a little sort of deceptive. I don't feel like in a negative way, but like hasn't had the opportunity because if there's lack of communication, right, the feminine has not had the opportunity yet to tell you, masculine, that she's decided. That she's decided to come out of this toxic battle of the head and the heart and letting old wounds hold her back and letting the past hold her back. This is a decision card. 
I've decided to go within and find the peace in it. I've decided to move forward out of the battle. That's my decision. That's what the feminine wants to say to you, masculines. I'm ready to leave the past behind. Like, I'm ready. I've decided. That's, that's what I want to tell you. Yes, I've decided. Like, I want to communicate this with you. This is my decision. I want this new opportunity. That's what I've decided. There's been a lot of indecision in the feminine's heart space, being kind of caught up in the battle of the head and the heart, caught up in the illusions of the past, but really feeling confident, I feel, in making a decision. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this union to be revealed. Like, I, it's, I, I'm, I know this is a pause. This is between worlds. I'm taking a rest. I'm appreciating what I have. I'm watering my seeds of, attention, of intention. I'm going within. I'm covering my physical eyes so I can trust my guidance on this. Like, I'm trusting that you're coming closer to me, right? And here's that page of swords. There's that communication. So the feminine is open and ready to communicate the way that she feels. She finally, like, has got the clarity by going within and making decisions, you know, this is that between worlds. So it's kind of a little like pause, like coming out. But I feel that the feminine is ready to take the leap of faith. That's what the feminine wants to say to the masculine. And then here's that, you know, I want to communicate. I'm ready for communication. New beginnings, clarity. The page can also be spying, you know, sort of like I'm, I'm paying. Okay, this is what I'm feeling for the feminine. I... I'm doing my best to pay attention now, to be aware because things haven't worked out for me in the past and I went in too fast and I made decisions and I, you know, not that it wasn't part of my journey, but I'm really ready for something real now. So I'm, I'm paying attention to the way that you're treating me. I'm paying attention to the way that I feel when I connect to you. I'm, I've decided that I want this love. I want these new beginnings, but it's really up to you to communicate with me. Like it's like, follow me, like follow my lead masculine follow my lead like let's leave the battle follow my lead what is the masculine feeling in the heart space look at that you're everything to me you're my ten of pentacles you're my my legacy you're my truth you're my destiny like i know this like i feel very happy that's very very that's all extreme happiness and abundance in their heart space okay that's a lot of cards but we'll take this one see if they want to come out again yeah knight of pentacles can charge it in like I, that's that knight again like i want to make an offer so feeling very abundant feeling like they have something to offer like they can offer you the stability that you're looking for feminines they want to offer you that yeah, it's make it's deciding, finding the balance in the in the material world, making that decision. I want to again six of pentacles again. Yes, I want to give you the gift. I I want to gift you with something. I want to give you something. It's the past coming in. This is a past person, past life, or past you know in this in this life coming forward, like deciding, like th that I know. Yeah, look, ten of cups and page of cups. I want to offer you this peace and contentment in your life because I can offer you this abundance because I have money. I have abundance. I have opportunity. My life is meant to be great. And I know it because I'm taking charge of the material world. I have love to offer you solid, grounded, stable love. It's, it will help bring you peace and contentment. Like I feel peace and contentment when I connect to your energy feminine. I want this. You're my legacy. The 1010 portal is open for this love that they're very open to the love and they want to offer the love they just wonder are you going to take these new beginnings are you going to be open to this love that that's what the masculine says are you open to it my my sacred feminine my true divine partner are you open to it i just want to make sure that you are like so the masculine i think the only reason why they wouldn't decide why they wouldn't say anything and they're really trying to overcome the anxiety of it is because they're their, their only fear is, will you accept my offer? I see you in this way. Do you see me in the same way? And what I feel like the feminine is saying, yes, actually I do. And it's somewhat surprising that I do. Not surprising because it's you, but I just haven't felt this way in a long time. The feminine's been very confused. The feminine's been hurt. The feminine's been through stuff, been ghosted, been left in the dust, abandoned, whether it be childhood and then through the life. Different things have happened, you know, and the masculine really wants to help you mend that feminines and say that I, I'm solid, like I'm solid. And the feminine's like, yeah, I kind of feel that you are. That's why it's like, okay, I want to leave the battle. Like, 
yeah, I'm done with this part. Like, come be with me, follow me, come, you know what I mean? That long, like, are you, are you for real? Like, that's what I feel like. The feminine's ready to take the leap of faith, but are you for real? So masculines, all you have to do is tell her, yes, I'm for real. And, and, and take the appropriate action to show her that you're for real. You know, whatever that is, whatever that is to you. It doesn't have to be a ring. It doesn't, I, mean, I don't think everybody's ready for that, but just like, I'm going to show you how solid I am. I'm going to show you consistently. That's what I feel like. This masculine is going to show you consistently. What's manifesting in this sacred union? And any messages? Look at that. The emperor, I'm taking charge. So masculine is like, hear it. Hear it. I know now. I've been focusing on all these other things in, in life and in, in my my studies and my job and my career and, you know, my family, whatever it is in, in, in the material world. And now I'm realizing I want leveling up spiritually because this is sacred masculine energy coming in. And like, now I want my empress. Like I'm ready. Look, look at that. The decision has been made. The two of wands. Yeah, it's time. It's time to talk about it. It's time to open up about it. This is twin flame sacred union. It's like, I have decided it's you. I'm going to tell you there's communication coming in. I feel like, I'm going to tell you, like, for real, it's you. And the feminine's open to it. The feminine's like, yeah, I, I, I can see that. Yeah, four of wands. There we go. 1111 divine sacred unions. It is time for unions. That's why all of these pieces of the puzzle are finally coming together. And in the pause, in the separation, just know, just focus on this. Because this is sacred divine union in the spiritual world coming down to the physical. Like, it's, it's that twin flame. Look at that. I mean, you can't make this up. That's what it is. That's the message. This is the message that needs to get out to as many people as possible. If you feel guided, share this with people that are on this journey, this journey to finding themselves, this journey to self-awareness, this journey to their spiritual growth, this journey to divine sacred union, because that's what's happening now. Do you see how the cards came out? Do you see why I needed to re-record it? I understand now. It's These were the specific messages that needed to come out and be very, very... Um, I mean, you can't, you got the emperor, you got the empress, you got the stability, the strength and the union, the balance coming in, two coming together, finally making the decision to come together because it's really important that you come together with your person. It's really important that these unions happen and that's why they're happening. I mean, I married someone on the 20s, uh, two people, someone, I married two people on my first wedding and it was amazing on 222 because it's time for the sacred unions. It's time for us to come together in this life because we're meant to go on a mission. So to me, this is like talking about it. Yeah. How are we going to work this out? We can work this out no matter what, no matter what the distance is, no matter what your current situations are, you can work this out. So this is you, this is communication, that communication that I felt coming in and, you know, whether it be on the phone or actually sitting in person, doesn't matter, but like really connecting with this person and saying, okay, how can we work this out? How are we going to do this? Let's do this. Like I'm willing to, both parties willing to do whatever they need to do to try to help work this out to be there for one another in the best ways they can. Even if it's connecting, relying on the spiritual connection and the energetic connection because there is a distance and separation. It's like just knowing like, yes, you are my empress. Yeah, you're my emperor. I know this. I know we are meant to be. I know this is divine sacred union. Absolutely, without a doubt, there are things that are going to happen during this time period, whether it be in March or in the spring. I feel like it's March and the spring. Things are going to happen and it, it's, it's, it's happening. So just know, happen, feel into that because it's happening. It really, truly is happening. I mean, look at the cards that came out. So it's it's there's transformation happening. There's healing happening. Finding that stability within yourself and and allowing yourself to receive and knowing that you deserve it and stand and be and you know knowing you're worthy and just you're getting you're gonna get like little clue in of what the new world is like right you're kind of like i said you've got one foot in one world and one foot in the other feminines and the masculines are working on mending during this time so trust your guidance because here's you are being led to your destiny we're going to get a final piece of advice here well there's a few pieces of advice so we have dog spirit be loyal to what you love be loyal to yourself. Be lo if you know you have someone that you're you, you're a loyal partner. They're a loyal partner. Things are ending and being cleared away that are necessary for these new beginnings. So be loyal and trust your guidance. 
but you have loyalty coming in in this union. Yeah, look at that. Groundhog spirit. Look, don't hold on to the past wounds. Don't pull, hold on to the past. Don't hold on too tight. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of whatever it is. Let go of the past. Let go of the toxic thoughts. Let go of the anxiety. Let go of the depression. Let go of the pain of the past. Allow yourself to heal. You are never alone. You are very much loved. And there's stability coming in. The angels are working with you. But it's time to let go. And you know who that is, what that is, codependency, addiction, the way you're thinking, a belief system, whatever it is. And take that leap of faith. And listen to that leaping into abundance or leaping into the flow video that I posted on, on Leap Year. It's just, it's taking that leap of faith and be generous of spirit. Look again, the 10, 10 portal is open for stability and the key is letting go of the past and allowing this to flow. Be generous with your love. Be generous with your affections. Be generous with your wisdom. Be generous with your, with your resources. But I really feel that this union is generous it's loyal and it's like you both know when it's time to move forward you know together I feel like it's like you feel it like you're like yeah I get it like it's time to let go of the past it's, it's like kiss the past goodbye with love and it's like you know ending things that need to end for these brand new beautiful beginnings very generous very reciprocal we got the six of pentacles a couple different times so it's a very reciprocal energy a very much give and take like whatever resources money abundance love protection safety security the masculine has they want to give it to you feminines and all this beautiful abundance of love and generosity and actual physical money opportunity spiritual growth being a guide whatever it is that you have to offer feminines the masculine see it as their abundance it's everything they've ever wanted and vice versa it's like this beautiful beautiful union of two souls that are meant to be together you're meant to be together it's time it's time to move forward it's time to let go and I appreciate all of you, and I hope that you enjoyed this reading. I appreciate the love and support on my channel. Reach out to me for personal reading or healing if you feel guided.